Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Meeple University on the Dice Tower. Today we'll be teaching you how to use Sovereignty, a digital game app to play games remotely. And we'll be showing you a little bit of a playthrough for a game that's available at Sovereignty. Let's do it! Sovereignty is an application which allows the remote playing of tabletop games on your computer or device. We're going to take you through how to get set up, how to use the program, and show you a quick bit of gameplay from Sushi Go Party, as well as take you through some of the other features that Sovereignty has to offer. But before we take you through the application itself, let's go back to the very beginning, how to install. To get the app, you can go in your browser to sovereignty.com slash install, or find Sovereignty on Google Play or the Apple App Store. We'll show you the download here on Windows, which will download the application as a .exe. Run the file, and this will set up the program on your computer. Upon starting up the application, you will have four options. Log in, create account, confirm email, or reset password. The first time you use the program, you will need to create an account for which you'll input your email address, a username, and a password. We've set up an account previously, so we're just going to log in, and you can make the app remember your login. Upon login, you'll be brought to a table with one of Sovereignty's games showing in the center. Before we have a look at how to play a game, let's have a look at some of the menu options. Here in particular, you'll want to have a look at your profile. In your profile, you'll be able to see your subscription level. Here we're showing you Platinum, and there are three levels, Silver, Gold, and Platinum. The basic Silver subscription is free. If you want to upgrade to Gold or Platinum, you do that on the Sovereignty website, not within the app. To do this, head to Sovereignty.com upgrade, and you'll see all of the different plans and prices, and you can click on the Upgrade Now button. This will bring you to a subscription page where you can log in and upgrade your package. However, if you have a promo code to upgrade your subscription, then you'll do that inside the app at your profile in this enter promo code box. We have a special promo code for viewers of this video, Celebrate21, which all viewers of this video can redeem until 28th of February 2022. Within your profile, you also have the option of changing your avatar. And you'll click on the avatars icon, and then you can scroll through all of the different avatar options available to you. Select one of your choosing, and then once you're happy, you can click on select avatar. Now it's time for one of the players to set up the table. At the moment, this is a table for Forbidden Desert, but you can change that by going into table options, which will tell you about the game, and then you can choose another game from all of those available. Here we're going to play a game of Sushi Go Party. The game may come with a manual or a tutorial, and any of those available will be shown in white. There's also some information available about the game down here. Once you're happy, click on Select Game. Some other table options include some visual choices that you can make. Next, you'll want to increase the number of players who can join you at this table. At the moment, this is set up for two players, me and one open seat. And you can add open seats to increase the player count. On each of those seats, you can also remove it to bring it back down to your chosen count. Once you're happy with the setup, it's time to click Create Table. If you're not the player who has set up the table, there's a couple of things that you can do. You can head up to the menu button and click on friends to see which of the friends that you've connected with on the app are at tables or offline. And this will give you an idea of who's available for a game. Once you know that there's a game active that you wish to play, you can click on browse tables and find that table and it will show you how many empty seats are currently available. You can then click on Join Table, and up in the top right corner, you will see yourself and anyone else who is at that table, and you'll be able to see any other player's avatars across the table from you. All players at the table should then click Ready. 
it will briefly show not ready until all players have clicked it, but then once all players have, it will take you through the loading process into the game itself. Sovereignty is a fully scripted app, meaning that you'll be playing the games exactly according to the rules. That is, the game won't allow you to do anything that is not within the rules. Here, we've reset the table so that I'm now the leader of the table. And as part of the setup for Sushi Go Party, it's necessary to choose some cards to play with. This option goes only to the leader of the table, and you can see here that I'll have the option to choose anything that's highlighted in green, but not anything that's highlighted in red. I'm simply going to randomize the setup, and then click on Confirm. Now that that's set up, I will be able to start the game. You can now see the game is shuffling and dealing for the initial startup of the game. So now let's have a look at some of the camera options that are available to you. You can think of this game as largely looking at the board through the eyes of your avatar. Here you can see the cards in your hand, but you're obscured from seeing the central board. You can use the scroll wheel of your mouse to zoom in or zoom out without moving your head. You can right click your mouse and then move around to point your head to the left or the right. And this gives you the view that your avatar would have by turning its neck. And you can use this scroll bar here to lean over the table and look at the center like so. With these three, it gives you the full perspective of views that you would have as a player at this table. The app also gives you the option to see what your opponent sees. Click on your opponent and then click on camera view like so. Now I can use those same features to see what my opponent sees like so. However, I'm not allowed to see my opponent's hand of cards. These are concealed from me. To get back to my camera view, I'll click on my own avatar and click on camera view. And now I'm back where I was. Other camera options available include the camera button, which will remove or bring back the camera slide. You can also take a closer look at the components by clicking on the inspect function. We're currently open to the inspect, and then if you click on any component, it will bring that up in close view. You can click left to right or next and previous to go to your next component to have a closer look. You can deselect to exit, and to exit inspect mode entirely, click on the exit button. So now that we've shown you some of the basic controls, we're going to play a round of Sushi Go Party, and you can see how some of the mechanics work as we play. So I have Stella with me. Hello. Hello indeed. And we are going to play through this round. Okay, so you'll be able to see what I see, and Stella will be making choices over the other side of the table. And I'm actually playing as Tarrant. <laughs> Yes, you're playing as my avatar and I'm playing as yours. So if I just have a look at all of the cards that I've got and see where I'm going to get the most points, I think I'm going to start with this one. Of course. So I'll choose it and then I'll confirm it. Stella's done hers and then we can see each other's cards at the same time. So let me just inspect exactly what Stella has picked here. Urumaki, mm -hmm. first to ten, and she's got five of them. So that's going to be, I had none of these in my hand. It's going to be quite hard for me to beat, I think. Um, so instead, I'm just going to pick this one. Always good to get a wasabi nigiri mix. You can see now I've selected, uh, we are waiting for Stella at the moment. Correct. So I will do my option. And that's my selection. There we go. Now this is probably a good opportunity to see the other player's point of view. If you want to see what collections they have so far, then you can do camera view. And yes. then although you can't see the hands, you can see what's on the table. Yes. So that's where we can see we've got the uh, tofu and urumaki here. I'll come back to my own angle. Um, and I feel like this is a useful way to go right now, so I shall select that. Now in the middle of the table, 
in the middle of the table here, and I'll just zoom into this because I didn't make a point of it before, but all of the cards that we are playing with here are shown like so. Which you can also click in spec if you want to see at the cards closer. Yes. Now, as you can see, as I was looking at that, something happened. Stella gained some points. And Ooh. if we go back into inspect mode and see how that worked, we saw this Uramaki before. The first player to get to 10 scored 8, and then 5, and then 2. So Stella got to 10 of those, and the game has automatically discarded those cards and given her those 8 points. And so if we look at these Uramakis here, there's not 10 left anymore, and so there's no way for that to happen again. Okay, so having seen how that goes automatically, we'll continue playing. I can see some good points in this one, so I shall confirm that. And there we go, my eel gets me some points. Oh, I should have took that one. Um, I will work ahead for this one for the end of the game. So this oh is no! The, uh, the soy sauce here. Or for the end of the round, sorry. Um, and I can certain I know I'm I know I'm comfortable here because Stella doesn't want a third one, so I've got free run at mm. those two. Good point, Harrod. Uh, there's some nice points on here, and you can see the game now goes very quickly. I can also uh, change my angle, stare down my opponent here. My lovely eyes. <laughs> I'll pick that. And of course, play with the camera in a number of different ways. Um, only a couple more to pick. Not doing well in this first round, I think. We already have eight points on the board. Yeah, we'll see. You got lots of points there. All right. So the round is about to end. So let me just scroll this out and we'll see the full context of how it's going to end because now all the scores are going to be counted up. So I shall confirm this here. It does automatically for you. So I got nothing for that. I got four, seven, six, and 13 points for my different stacks. And it adds that all up for 30. Stella got five, lost three, gained six and four. That's 12 on top of the eight she already have. And we move down the path. So you can see that some of the information on how the game has worked is coming up on the uh, chat bubble at the top which you can expand and it's, you can see here, it tells us how many scores each of us got. Uh, it shows where Stella gained those Uramaki points as well. And so this is a, um, a status of the game. I can also send a chat here. Uh, good work on the Uramaki points, like so. And so this serves as both a chat and a uh, summary of the game, which I can then collapse. So now that we've seen how a round plays, and it has automatically set up for the second round, let's have a look at some of the other options that are available. So under menu, we have the settings, and under settings, you can adjust your mouse sensitivity. Uh, you can change the way things zoom. There are some display settings, so you've got different, um, different options. You can go high or lower quality graphics to make it run more quickly. Uh, in the audio, you've got choices for sound effects. You can uh, adjust the sound effects. You can also bring some, uh, some background music in. You can hear that scrolling up as we speak. And voice volume, because under this, you can set up voice chat within the Sovereignty app. And so you can choose your voice output device. You can choose to click on voice chat. Uh, you can mute or unmute your microphone, and you can pick your specific microphone. And so this, you don't have to set up a separate uh, chat app outside Sovereignty. You can do this communication within Sovereignty. There are some other options here inside Advanced, uh, which give you some basics and tutorials and various things. Uh, you can turn your microphone on or off here, a much more simple option for that, as well as your speaker. Uh, the leader of a game has this little sovereignty icon here and you have some options that you can do for the other players. So you can uh, mute a player if they're talking a little bit too much. You can kick a player out of the game if someone perhaps has come into your game that you uh, weren't expecting. 
and you've got a few other options here. So this is all of what's available on Sovereignty. For more information or tutorials, you can head to Sovereignty's channel on YouTube, where you'll find a number of videos telling you how to create accounts and some of the camera and voice controls, as well as how to play a game. Sovereignty is being set up as a community, and every Tuesday night, US Central Time, between 6 and 8 p.m., there is an open game night where the creators and administrators of Sovereignty will be available, and there will be a number of games open and able to be played publicly. And viewers of this video are once again reminded that there is a special promo code, CELEBRATE21, which will give you 60 days of Platinum access to Sovereignty, as long as you activate prior to the 28th of February 2022. And that's how you play in Sovereignty. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please help us by hitting that like button and subscribe to the Dice Tower if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. See you next time!